Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here today on behalf of my creative year. The beginning of every month, you guys know that we do a My Muse, what, what you are, I don't know, for lack of a better word, are obsessed with or paying an extra amount of attention to. And it kind of takes you down a road you didn't know you were going to go. You tried something new, you found something new, whatever. All right, so this month, my muse is this. I have been making mini journals with coffee dyed paper and watercolor paper. Well, let's see, I think I made eight of them so far. And while I was making them, I, I you know, you have to cut your paper to the proper dim dimensions to go into the little book. When I did that, I had very tiny little slivers of paper left over and I didn't want to waste them so I thought well let me try another project so this the next thing was is that I took the little tiny slivers of paper and I made mini books with the leftover cuts from the bottom of these sheets, you know, it's about, I think they're about an inch wide that were down here at the bottom when I cut the paper. So these little books are off cuts from this book. And each one of these has three signatures as does this. So then I've got like seven of these little miniature books. All right. Well, while I was doing that, I looked for something on Pinterest that I had remember seeing a while ago and I found it and I made it and this is a project that I didn't see coming and now I went out to an antique store to look for parts to finish it and it just became an obsession until I actually finished it so here it is I took the little thin strips of paper that let me move you down a little lower. I took the little thin strips of paper that I made the mini books with and I taped them with double sided tape on the back side and I did them end to end. But as I was doing them, I didn't have to color them. All I did was go look in my box of miniature pictures, rub ons, stickers, and such. And then I did a long strip of them. together. Oops, the glare on that one's bad. Sorry. It's a very slick magazine picture, so it's kind of glarish. Those are scissors, and these are spools from the Connecting Threads magazine. It's a quilting magazine. You order once from them, and they send you a lifetime of catalogs. Two antique-looking teddy bears, and it says True Friend, and there's the heart. The next one is the state of Texas. It's a cabin, and then there's a horse tied out front. This this one says antiques, and it's an antique a picture of an antique tin. This one is of hydra hydrangeas and spring flowers, which I'm hoping really will be cheerful here shortly. Explore. I used to like riding a bicycle. Actually, I loved it a lot. This is about cameras and time. This one's uh, this one came off of where this one come from. Um, I think this came off a felting project. I can't remember. And then I have like the Tim Holtz words. This one's hand and heart. This is a tiny hand that has a little heart in it. I don't know. They call that the Moravian Moravian hand heart or something. And this one is leaves and let it fly away in the fall. They absolutely fly away. This one is just of a little cityscape. This came off the carton of a Ben and Jerry's ice cream. This one is a ship. It says embark on an adventure. And then this one is a sticker. And what does it say at the bottom? Beauty and Grace. I actually saw fish like this when I went scuba diving in Mexico on, I was on a cruise. 
And then this is the end piece to the wooden spool. I did actually did not have any wooden spools, so I drove an hour away from my house to an antique row where I went looking for wooden spools and I got a bag of them for $2. And it just so happened that this one was the perfect size. And it was, you know, it was uh, a lighter color wood. So I took, uh, I think it was Tim Holtz uh, walnut stain and use the, you know, use this on it to get it to look a little older. Then I glued the the tab because you got to have something to hang on here. So I glued this onto it. Now usually it's rolled up this way where you can't see it. All you see is the color. I did put my name in the year I made it. Information. Usually when you see it, you see it like this. It's rolled up where all you see is just the colors. But sometimes you, I, I take it and unroll it and re-roll it a different direction so it gets the, um, makes it look more flat because it's been rolled one way and then it rolls the other. I don't have any kind of a closure for it. So all I have on here is one of those, you know, one of these fancy doodads. <laughs> I spared no expense. Obviously not since I drove an hour away to buy a bag of spools for $2. I saw this idea on Pinterest a long, long time ago, and I'm sure lots of people have done these, but the original idea that this came from was on Pinterest. I will put the link down below in the description box so you can see the, ori the original one that inspired this. So from dyeing paper and making, let me back you back out so you can see, dyeing paper to go into a, a journal. I think this is a, an Effordent denture box from a friend. And I'm not sure she'd want me to say her name because she has dentures. Anyway, so um, she sends me her boxes, which I love. They're the perfect size for this. So there's that one. That, that was my first idea. Then that led to offcuts from this. And the same offcuts that made this are the same ones that are together in here. So that is my muse for... March 2019 for my creative year. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, I will link um, the original idea this came from down below in the description box. And it did come from Pinterest, the original one. I've seen other videos that have them on there, but the first one I ever saw was on Pinterest. All right. So thanks for stopping by, guys. See you in April. Bye.